we're starting. Group C, Mystery Triathlon. Jumping right in here. Animaniacs. Arthur's absolutely fun day. Eight unique stars. Uh, Tower, RE, Mario Brothers. Three, four, five. Fuck is on. Jumping right in there. I'm looking for the first boss, Ralph the Security Guard in Animaniacs. It's Genesis game. It is like Lost Vikings in a lot of ways. You switch Animaniacs for powers, different abilities. It's pretty good. Let's play their uh, soundtrack actually here. Arthur's Absolutely Fun Day is the interesting one here to me. But that Mario 1 ROM hack isn't too bad either. Yeah. That's the music you expect, right? We had one of the players choose the wrong door, and uh, they've been informed that it was the wrong door. They didn't lose too much time on that. I can't believe somebody would willingly choose stage two in a race, but well, that's fine. Everyone should be in the woods here. Should be in the jungle. If they did go to a different stage and be a different boss, I'd probably go, probably roll with it. Currently queuing up another race for Saturday, so we have four in a row. So that'll be a full day, like usual. Nice music, huh? <laughs> That's the uh, stage selection song. Let's move on here. Oh no, it's back. I thought you were saying the brain was inspected, but gadget. Here's an elephant.
I wanted to make sure the players knew that they have a real boss fight on their hands. You don't just fight Ralph on a one-off thing and kill him. We're looking for actually beating him. And he's past the section that Horndan is working on now, who is currently in the lead. It looks like he's just having some trouble with this. Uh, so this game, uh, I think Wacko has a hammer. Um, what the hell are the other two powers? It's been a while since I've played it. But it took me 10 minutes or so to do this when I was doing it on Rompit. Um, I think Yakko can push things, maybe. I don't remember. I'm looking it up. Let's confirm what these abilities are that they're messing with here. They do have a tutorial stage to teach them. Yeah, Yakko can push boxes, and he has the paddle ball. <laughs> uh, Wacko has the hammer, which is used the most, honestly. Dot mind controls people with kisses, which I don't know how useful that is in this. When it's back in the boat, is this a new section? It's a good looking game. I'm not sure who's in the lead anymore. I feel like, uh, hello Allison and Yuzha are. I don't know where Subbeef looks like he's at the beginning again. This is actually a pretty good game. Uh, the rail cart section here is the worst part of this. The boss fight isn't too bad. So there's the mesmerizing. You turn a guy into a platform, I guess. Eight minutes in. I'm really looking to, uh, towards uh, Arthur's absolutely fun day with some anticipation. Yep, yeah, we're looking for a whole clear in one go here. This game is not very friendly with the uh, checkpointing. I really should have slow boost screen. I feel like this is on my end, but it's messed up, so I'm gonna try and fix it. Okay. That was bothering me a bit. Horn dance as well. Yeah. Perfection. It looks like uh, Corndan made it to a wheel. <laughs> That's something, right? These obnoxious 
jump pads. You have to hit them with the hammer and jump on them before the ball bounces back. And there's not any time at all. Thankfully, that's not really a hazard. It's game over again. Back to the start of two. I feel like Dan and you have checkpointed at this point, right? I feel like they're far enough that they're just going to start on this stage. Slow Beef is also on these. He's figured out a better way to use them. Nine minutes left. This whole challenge takes ten minutes or so from the beginning. <laughs> Some people just getting wiped out. Okay. Huge is at the boss. There we go. Somebody's made it. I didn't expect this much trouble with this. All three, all four players having some hardships. Some more than others. Here's the boss fight. It's gotta take out Ralph. There's a lot going on in this fight, but it's not too bad. I don't think they've landed a hit on him yet, though. Unfortunately. So he runs across the bottom and does damage. And uh, there's a lot of other garbage going on too. But none of it affects him. He's just got to hit him with that orb. And he runs around so much, it's kind of hard to do. It's two hits. Three. Yeah, now we're getting into it. <laughs> Gonna have to figure out how to dodge him though. Dance at the boss as well. Oh man, all the way back. They don't get a checkpoint if it's any good. Gotta do the whole scene in one go, I guess. Corndan has a chance to beat this with two lives. Can he work out the boss? It's very important that you not get hit by him when he comes down. You don't have the ability to uh, tank those kind of hits. I haven't seen anybody really do it yet. Everyone's taking hits on this boss. Corndan's on his last life. <laughs> He's trying to lock him in. Didn't work out. I don't think you can do that. I think you do need to... Um... I think you do need to just dodge him. Dan has figured out one way to do it, I guess. I was using the um, boulder to launch myself up in the air to dodge him. But I guess if you just run to the right far enough, he won't bother you. He's killed Corndan, though, despite that knowledge. This bodes poorly.
I told these guys I had a truly bad pack, and they were excited about playing that instead of these two that I have for them. But they can't even beat Animaniacs? Get out of here. This is the good game of the six. <laughs> Four minutes left. Uh, everyone's pretty far away, though. Hello, Allison is the closest for an attempt. They're out of lives. Doesn't look like Ralph is gonna be beaten today. Looks like he's insurmountable. Everyone's running out of time. I wish the checkpointing was better than this. That's really the shitty thing. Uh, I think that is what's holding up the player series having to redo these levels. I thought about allowing save states for some of these just because of that. Like if they made it to a stage, I would let them save at the beginning of it. <laughs> Fix their checkpointing that way, but. I would have been better off just giving them the save on the end of the level here. I felt like the tutorial was important though. This will break some people's spirits before we even get started. And Maniacs, 20 minutes for everybody. You just cannot get up this pit, but we've seen Slow Beef do it. Allison has a chance here, pretty good chance to save some time if they can work out how to not get hit by Ralph all the time. HP left on Hello Allison there. I don't think they've damaged the boss much. Bleh. That's gonna be a pass for Hello Allison, I imagine. The... Slowbeef could maybe get there in time, but he's injured too. He says that he hates this. You just hit the boss. Yuji is the only one who can do it and save time. This boss is one of those things where I'm surprised it's holding people up, but uh, nobody really figured out how to dodge him. Corn Dam was doing something I didn't know about to evade him. I guess I was lucky enough to not game over and find out that it resets all your progress. It's time for Arthur. Oh boy.
everyone needs eight stars. You get them from little mini events. Game Boy Color Arthur. Our basketball players. So, this will be amusing when other people do it. These two have already figured out how to score a basket. It's very impressive. Uh, basically, you press the B button to throw the ball and the A button to dribble. That doesn't do anything. Dribbling doesn't do anything, so... You just throw it. If you tap it real fast, like one frame, you'll throw it right into the hoop. If you hold it in, you'll throw it over the house. If you hold it in for more than one frame, it'll just go over the house and bounce back. I didn't know that you could back up, so you just showed me some stuff. So I guess that changes things a little bit. But generally speaking, you can just tap the button and throw it in pretty well. Slow beef has done it. <laughs> They need 10 of these baskets. <laughs> Neither of the two on the right have gotten a single one yet. But the two on the left, they took a pass, so they have a little bit of a head start. The two on the right are in real time. Slow Beef is really bad at basketball. Really. I told them they need to do unique events. There's, I think there's nine of them. Maybe 10. So they have a little bit of option. You can back out of any of these. The pancake flipping game here is amusing. We're gonna see how Allison flip pancakes too early, and they get thrown in the trash. <laughs> yeah, even that one that they put on their plate. Thrown away. There's a lot of insult like that in this that kicks ass. So I didn't give them a whole lot of direction except on the one that stumped me. I got stuck on the skateboarding game. Everything else I felt like was pretty clear. The skateboarding game you're supposed to pick up garbage. So I told them about all that. You just figured out how to make pancakes. There's the ticket. Can't rush cooking. There's a, there's a pretty good set of noises for this air hockey game, especially when you press A and he launches it. They need 10 freaking points in air hockey. Air hockey is one of the slowest ones. Help me make sure no one does repeats, audience. But I haven't seen any yet. Everyone should have to play most of these. Can't get away. Huge just finally done with pancakes, it looks like. That'll do it. Ten complete flapjacks. I mean, it is slower than the maze because you only need ten berries. As slow as it is. It's done already. <laughs> Watching the paper boy go, it's this game kicks ass.
What's your favorite game out of what we've seen? They're all highly animated nonsense. It's really not that bad of a game. Um, it's just full of variety. Slowbeef hasn't figured out how to pick up the garbage just yet. Some of the players have found that they can leave an event. Um, because there's, I think there is 10 of them. They have some options there. So I haven't even seen this um, boxcar racing one. I didn't do this one. Slowbeef doesn't seem to know how to pick up garbage yet. Oh, he got one. Nice. You have to get it lined up with his hand, exactly. Nice, he's getting it. Is this a good enough mix for Arthur? <laughs> Arthur, the king of fighters. We have jawbreaker sorting. It's very slow and easy. Some of these are free. Matching colors up to pipes and slow motion is one of the easiest ones. And so is book sorting. Those two are very, very easy. Air hockey is probably the worst one, just because you need 10 goddamn points. The bunny really sucks. I don't remember his name, but he really sucks at air hockey, so it's not hard to score on him, it just takes forever. He's really bad at air hockey. Hello, Allison's getting scored on though. I would say he misses nearly every diagonal shot. Sometimes he misses the intro serve. I'm going back to King of Fighters here. Book sorting is also a very simple and it's very, very easy. Slow beef is letting those can, uh, <laughs> those pancakes fry forever. I don't think you can overcook them, which is interesting. But you definitely don't need to let them sit that long. You sure do need to cook the other side of it, but it takes way less time. I'm not sure exactly how long it takes, but it looks like it took a little bit longer than Slowbeef gave give though. He's getting the timing down pretty well. He's going to fly through this now as, as fast as you can. Flap a jack. He's going to do it. Oh, his name really is Buster. <laughs> I thought that was a joke. Okay. Yeah, the color on the cooked pancake looks like looks like it's completely wasted and trash. Arthur only enjoys burnt pancakes. The rest get thrown out. The sugar bowl. I got something new and exciting for these folks in their second game of the night here, their final match. Oh no, this is this diving section, what the hell? Man, Arthur gets to do all this cool shit. You know, he's playing air hockey and he's going to the library, I'm like, huh, whatever Arthur, but he gets to go scuba diving? Man! This is an absolutely fun day.
I actually think, I mean, this is just a Game Boy Color game. It actually looks pretty good. It doesn't sound great, but um, it's really not too bad at all. There's 10, there's probably more than 10 later, I don't know, many games in it. And none of them are really bad. Some of them are pretty lame little kids games, right? But uh, a couple of them are fun. They're fun to figure out anyway. Once you figure out how they work, they're kind of whatever. But I would have played this as a kid. Book sorting for slow beef. Still diving for the other two. Paper time. The huge. They really want you to be specific with this, and you have to press the button pretty early. You can slow down your bike, but who would? Everyone goes full blast, right? Man, that library is all orange books all the time. Slow beef has six. Huge has six. Plays are almost done. Oh no, Slubby found a uh, air hockey. Yeah, it kind of is depressing to see somebody throw an uncooked pancake away just because it's uncooked. Why don't you just cook it? <laughs> Why don't you just finish the job? All that wasted batter, can you imagine? Just finish the cook. It's still good. Huge has seven. I think the diving game was a big mistake. I think maybe that actually is the worst one. Even air hockey, as tedious as it is, isn't that long. It seems like they've been working on that for a while. I went gambler's fallacy on air hockey, man. I was like eight points in and I'm like, does this even end? Is this just for fun? Is he taking a break from star collecting? But 10 does it. 10 does indeed move forward. Every game is worth points. The only thing on the map that's not is the place where you spend the stars. Hello, Allison is finished. Soft. Slow has been soft locked. Pulled by Buster. I can't believe this. If Slow Beef loses this race because of Buster and his soft lock nonsense. He had four points. He was all he was already on his way, man. What a waste of time. Slow Beef is looking for a better game to finish up on. Nuge is done. Corn Dan's done. Slow Beef is working on, I think, his last star, which was stolen away by Air Hockey. Here's this ROM hack of Mario 1. I wouldn't do this diving game. As soon as I see how slow it is, I'd bail out on this. 15 minutes for Arthur is longer than I expected. I didn't play too much of this Mario ROM hack. I played a, like Area 1 and I trust my helper. <laughs> that, this is Time Stalkers, I think. Uh, that five levels is good.
These ropes, though, these vines are really annoying. Really annoying jumps. Hello, Allison is in the lead. They did take a pass on Animaniacs, but even with that, they finished the second game fastest. Corn Dan is five seconds out of Yuge on the second game. So this will be a decider for a lot of people. If they all finish this one, we'll have different ranks. Slow Beef is still working on Arthur. He should have just gone back there, Hockey. I think this is a big mistake. I like to give players these games that they get choices in and see what decisions they make and then I can pinpoint which one was wrong and being soft blocked by air hockey put a bad taste in his mouth for what was a better event for this last star. I, I assume he's on his last star anyway. Underwater radio treasure. <laughs> this Game Boy that was thrown into the sea, it's not treasure anymore. It's it's junk. Basketball is really easy if you just figure out exactly where to stand to get the, the hoop. Like, I figured that would be the first one people would get to, because it's right next to it. And, uh, I don't know. Did he not finish basketball ever? I know he was having more trouble than, uh, Corn Dan and Hello Allison both nailed it right away. This is one of those things where they, they figured out how to do it. Now, Mario here, if Slow Beef is good at it, he could catch up. He's four minutes behind. But uh, if he doesn't game over, if he's just good at Mario Brothers, he can still come in. I'm feeling like you need to do all five of these floors in one go. Hello, Allison is on the final floor, though. They might be first place. It's not ridiculously bad Mario, it's just advanced levels of Mario, and the vines are the worst part, I think. So we've handling floor one pretty well. Uh, the other two players are on floor three. Allison is still got a life or two left on floor five. It looks pretty tricky. Total deaths. Ugh. In my race here, because of the bot and all, the players know that they're behind, so I think Slowbeef is rushing it. He's getting bit by Goombas and stuff. Floor 5 still being worked on by Hello Allison. The other two players are still on floor three. Slow Beef is only one world behind here. 
I'm telling you, if he can ace this, he still has a chance. Floor four, for Corn Dan. He's going at a walking pace. Uh, and it seems to be working pretty well. Hello, Allison is finished and first place. Forty-one thirty-four. I like the walking pace strategy that Slow Beef is using. He's on four three. It looks like they do get continues, which is new to Mario. That's this ROM hack. So, no, they do lock into whatever floor they're on. So, Corn Dan is on floor four. That's where he's going to be. Slow Beef is caught up to Yuge on floor three here. Yuge has been having a lot of trouble with floor three. Corn Dan's been on four for a little while, but is now on five. Maybe Slow Beef doesn't know there's a run button. Maybe that's... <laughs> no, I mean, this is working. It, it is not dying very much at all. Comparatively. Oh! That last jump was pretty rough walking, but he made it. He's on floor four. He's taking third place currently. Corndan's working on finishing five. It seemed like pretty close to the end water section. Bit by fish. I think walking here with Lakitu is actually bad news. This is probably not a great strategy anymore. <laughs> He's gonna have to run for some of this. Fusion Slow Beef on floor four together here. <laughs> Can't believe the, the fate. Well, Slowby probably just found out he has a continue that works like that. So maybe he'll run more now. I don't know. He looks like he's interested in speeding up. What do you think of Thunderbolt Lakitu here? Pretty rude. Dan is finished. Second place. Maybe. Actually, there's a little bit of time left. Nah, not enough time. They are finished. Uh, nine seconds left. 44-54. Slow Beef done with floor four. Currently fighting for third. Will Arthur's air hockey hijinks rob Slow Beef of second place here? How much time did he lose, do you think, to that? I would wager he lost at least two minutes. Oh, 
Slimmy's denying the mushroom to himself. Good luck with the swimming. Corndan is definitely in second place, so we're marking that now. Doing this without any power-ups is gonna suck. Swimming sucks. You're gonna wanna be big for this. Oh, damn. It's a race to the finish here. Through the water, the water section is going to be the decider for third place. Slowbeef doesn't have any points currently, and Yush has one. They'd be tied. It would be 6, 4, and 1, and 1 if Slowbeef wins this, or 6, 4, and 2 if Yush wins this. That point could matter a lot to either player here. Now, there's nowhere to run from that, uh, that blooper. Slowbeef here. I think he's made it through the hard part of the water section, though. Hopefully he has some lives left. Huge has to do it with uh, small Mario here. Mar yeah, okay, that is the end. Slowbeef is finished. Comes in third. 47-42. Corndan and Hello Allison are running away with this. Man, and if Slowby figured out how to do basketball, or if anybody figured out how to do Animaniacs, we might have seen a big shift in this. I don't think that Arthur's air hockey nonsense cost Slowby anything. Ultimately, that time didn't matter too much. I'm watching Hello Allison fight the boss. I want to see what happens here. I can't believe that no one's trying to launch themselves up. They did it so much in the stage coming in. It's wild that no one's going for it. Ralph remains unbeaten. Dodging his damage is, I think it's required. But you can run to the right. It's the easy way.
we do have another match for these players right now. Uh, their final match, in fact. Group C, round three. We're doing it. The Sidewinder pack. It's got a new thing in it. We're going to see how it works for our players here. Sidewinder pack. Micro machines beat stage four. They start at stage two, so stages two, two, four. Dragon Warrior three. Full party victory. I'm looking for a full team to win a fight. Uh, Mickey Mouse capade. The ocean. This game, actually, Dragon Warrior has a Jester class. I don't know why. It, it, somebody in the uh, hotel, the inn, tells you about the classes, and they're like, "Yeah, Thieves pretty dodgy, and Warrior's pretty tough. Mage casts spells, and then Comedy Relief, the Jester. Don't, don't pick it." It says. <laughs> he pretty much says. He actually says the words Comic Relief about that class. He says it's useless. So maybe you can make a party that bad, is what I'm saying. In Dragon Warrior 3. Wait for you to load that state and then I'll begin. Okay. Oh, you sure can solo the first encounters. I don't expect them to lose a battle with any party makeup that they make. But they must figure out how to recruit. So, you know, how's, how's your RPG navigation skill is what the challenge is. It's not make a good party. It's not even shopping for weapons or any of that. None of that matters. They'll be fine if they can make a party at all.
in this Micro Machines goofy racing thing. You can see where the player is by the white dot in the top left. That's their rank. They need to not be last place a bunch to beat this challenge. That's really all. As long as they clear race four. And they won't be able to do that if they get last place a bunch. It won't let them forward. I think they're allowed to get second and third, though. They are also allowed, as Slopey just did, to drive all over the terrain. Falling off is the worst thing. It's a Lakitu-style time penalty. It just takes forever. Slopey even first. <laughs> He's doing pretty well. Second on a notepad. Used in first as well. Horndan moving on to the next race. Huge first place. You get a lap or two of time, really. It's easy to come up and catch up on these AI. But you have a couple laps to uh, figure out the course, and then you really need to do well on the last one. That's really the most important thing, is that on the last lap of this game, you crush it. You catch up and rank somewhere. Oil Can Alley. Good art. Oh! You can crash into other cars and destroy yourself in this new one. Dan's been eliminated on Corn Dan's screen. Just one more race for Corn Dan. Oh, winning a bunch is a punishment. Mm, Slowbeef might not get this bonus round. That might be good. Emilio is out on Slowboost. And he is uh, caught up because he didn't have a bonus round. It was pretty interesting. Everyone's on the same place now. Hey, this almost makes up for Arthur's soft lock nonsense. Slowboost getting a little bit of a break. Oh, stuck in the rocks. He just needs to not be fourth here, is the thing. Just not fourth to not be eliminated. I think anything else is fine. Dramatic Micro Machines song. There's so many shortcuts and stuff you can take, but it's absolutely a memorization game where you don't have even a mini-map, of course, or anything like that. It's neat, but that's what it is. Uh, this jump slowly didn't hit it fast enough, it fell off. I see some other racers having that kind of issues with this course. That's the worst part. Just happened to huge. That one jump right there is the worst. Corn Dan is finished. Last time you see Mike dancing on the screen.
Here comes Dragon Warrior. It is extremely easy to get lost in an RPG like this. Oh no, Slobby from Use did not qualify. They're going back in for another race. Hello. Hey, future friend. Hey, how's the race going? So we can uh, use just failed the first one. They got to try again. Everyone else what is on Dragon Warrior 3, which is a very exciting game to race. What a bummer. So I gave them an RPG that asked them a bunch of trivia at the start, like their name, their sign, what kind of person they are. <laughs> uh, I figured that would be a fun frustration for them all to sit through. Well, you know, Smite, as a man with many fans, you need to know what they're like, you know? Do you find life boring? Do you get the urge to help? Do you have trouble sleeping because you think too much? Do you have dreams oh, about never. being chased? <laughs> Is it unforgivable to break promises? <laughs> hmm. I have dreams of being the chaser. Hey, what listen. would that say about me? When you eat a food, do you save your favorite food of, a, of the meal for last or eat it first? I'll eat it first, definitely. How about you? Yeah, I don't want to ruin my good meal with that all that nonsense. Yeah, like, who the fuck is like, oh, I want to eat the potatoes first. What a scam. Ah, uh, Slow Beef has failed the Micro Machines race again, and so has you, because they're having so much trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! You have different dreams based on your answers to these questions. <laughs> I didn't know that. They're different nightmares. Like one of them, you're a monster, kill a puppy. Hello, uh, Allison. Like Hold on a bit. Now I know what a series is so big, it encompasses everyone. Yeah, it's got a long trivia question. So what does it actually do for you in the actual game? Do I don't you know. like become a clown if you answer it all wrong? Well, I mean clowns apparently are a class you can recruit in this, so maybe. Oh, hopefully. They're like berserkers almost. Sometimes they just attack you though. <laughs> they sure are. You know, when they all huddle into that tiny car, I take man just like Conan the Barbarian. Slowbeef is in first on the dune race currently. Maybe this time's the one. So they need to go talk to the king and then figure out how to recruit a party. And then with that full team, they must go kill anything outside of town. It is illegal for them to just go out of town and win their easy fight with their one guy. Because you can't win without friends. Friendship is so key. So do any of your uh, party members ask you what you dream about, though? I feel like you interview them. You ask them those questions. Mm, you're the boss that's here. That's true. Yeah. You got interviewed by God, and you're, you're like the assistant manager now, so. <laughs> just gonna pass that down. You just finished with their race. Slow Beef is the last one working on micro machines. He's done too. Everyone's on track in Warrior 3. Let's see how they answer their questions. Dan's the first one done talking to the king, but where the hell is the tavern is what he's wondering. <laughs> he's, gotta, he's got to find that, and uh, it's kind of confusing. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody times out on this looking for the tavern. I didn't give them any directions. The, the town's not that big, but who, who wants to, in a race, go around talking to everyone trying to find it? So we've almost set the sex speed to slow. That would have been great. <laughs> Because <laughs> eight so is when, slow and one is fast. So when you dream, are you the chaser or the chasee? No one's beaten game two yet. The man in the front room had a mishap with a magic bomb. He hurt himself. Good information. No recruits. <laughs> Hey, maybe we should get that guy in the party. He's such like a real blast. Welcome to the bank. I can offer protection for your hard-earned money. 
it's just this huge speech about withdrawals. <laughs> <laughs> what does the fig on this bank? Hell Allison has confirmed the tavern. They found the recruit ship center. So that's good. That's good news. Somebody's gonna do it. You know, unless they get the clown, I can't really say they've won this triathlon. I think it's very easy to miss this desk, which is where you recruit everyone. They make it sound like <laughs> you just go to a bar and pick them up at the bar, but actually you talk to this desk and... So, anyone who misses that's gonna be in real trouble. But both of these players have done it. They're gonna be wrapping up the second game real quick. Hello, Allison's bothering to equip. I don't think that's necessary. Yeah, you just gotta beat a slime, right? Yeah, just defeat a slime. I see that uh, Yuj and Slowbeef have both elected to kill a puppy. Just a <laughs> trivia. Slowbeef, compassionate and strong. The archetype of Valiant. Strong personality. You can keep yourself in check. Consider it. See things in others' perspectives. Others' feelings above your own sorrows. Passionate in endeavors, do not give up. You're trusted by everyone. <laughs> More of a cat person, though. You are truly a fantastic person. I will say it again, <laughs> you are truly fantastic. <laughs> this is what the god got from watching you burn a puppy in your dream. <laughs> Hello, Allison is moving on to Game 3 Mickey Mousecapade. Or are they? No, they're looking for a fight. These two birds. Test your might. I should have ROM hacked this to make the first fight really hard and force them to go get gear. That would have been fun. <laughs> Allison is done with game two. It looks like magic is way better than uh, anything else for this, but only because it's hard to hit these birds. Yeah, I remember the birds being kind of speedy motherfuckers when I played this game five minutes, uh, eight years ago. Burn Dan is done. The time on this is actually really good. Seven and a half minutes, eight and a half minutes. Pretty good challenge, actually. I'm happy with it. We need more of these nonsenses. Uh, Mickey Mousecapade really sucks a lot. Uh, we yeah, used it last uh, time. It's not good. You have to uh, bring Mini with you. That's really the big thing. But uh, you also require a key for the door you start right next to. Just <laughs> So you have to backtrack after you get it. Yeah, the Disney platformers didn't really get good until the 16-bit days. I did have to tell them about something to make this work better than it did last time. Uh, if a bird comes out and kidnaps Minnie, since you need her, you have to figure out how to get to a hidden area to save her. And that's done by shooting a window open and jumping into it. <laughs> oh, God. So I yeah, told them I about that. That's such a fucking huge hassle. Yeah. You require her. <laughs> she uh, She's like an option in this game. She helps you shoot and stuff. So she's a good character to have around anyway, but you do need her. This is the fun house. It's probably the worst part of the game. I think that that nonsense ends after this. I don't exactly remember. I only ever played the first level of this game when I was like, yeah, I saw enough. This is the hit killer game PK about Donald Duck as a superhero. <laughs> One of the tricks in this game I remember as a kid. As many as immortal, actually. She can get kidnapped by owls, but she can beat any boss by herself. So you can just cheese your way so that she's up the ladder and Mickey is not, and she can go fight the boss by herself. And you can just have this immortal, hard to control, but unkillable mouse 
do all the boss fighting for you. Well, you know, it's the Tails methods of gaming, which is valid. Yeah. How did, what the hell is Slowbeef doing? <laughs> <laughs> is he so scared of some random ass birds that he's gonna bump his stats? It looks like he is. Just random, Slowbeef. <laughs> What an adventurer, he's ready for battle. Ah, quite the bully type. I can't believe this all warrior team and he takes the time to assign stats. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably gonna wiki up on this side the damn cheetah. Glad he's going for the full cyberbully team, though. You are a fantastic person. I'll say it again. You are a fantastic person. I got the same <laughs> message, and it was exclusively that that convinced me that I had to try and make this work. <laughs> I wanted to see a player frustratingly try and scroll through text as obnoxious as a god repeating himself to you. <laughs> Ooh, looks like Yuke has quite a match to go against four ravens and two swine. What the? Jeez, this is the worst roll ever. And Slowbeef with his strongman team coming in. <laughs> the gym class team is ready. A parade of stooges, I see. <laughs> He's just got an army with him. <laughs> Oh, he's only got to fight two slimes and two birds? He's got this easy. The slimes will be free. The ravens are hard to hit. That's where his team will be weak. Hey, the ocean's here. Both players made it to the ocean very quickly. It's a very tight race for first here. Corn Dan just yeah. needs to get second, though. Or even third to uh, win this race. So, in good shape. Hmm. I also found the Immortality Fairy, which helps a lot with this garbage stage where the waves come out of nowhere. Slowbeef is done. Also got a pretty good time on that one. Nine minutes. Took longer on the racing than anyone and caught up. Master racing by the other three players on the left. Yeah, it kind of seems like once everyone uh, knew to go to the tavern, like that went by way faster. Oh, jeez, Corndan died to the boss. That means uh, back to the beginning, right? Sure does. Yeah. <laughs> and it seems Allison has cleared it. Yep, Allison has done it. For, uh, 1932. 19 minutes and 32 seconds. Crush this pack. Nobody got stuck on anything. Uh, so, area 3 here is a maze. I didn't make him do this last time either. It sucks real bad. You're supposed to go through this maze until you find the seasons changing. I think if many falls in the water, you die. That sounds right. Like, how do you actually know in the woods what season, like, you're supposed to get? Is it just kind of random guesswork? You figure out how to change it, and you just go by what you think summer should look like, and autumn. Just do your best. It's, it's real bad, that's why I don't use it. It's a stupid maze. It's awful. It's a door maze, for one thing. Like, you don't know if you're supposed to take that door or move forward, which is always the worst thing. Yeah, and I'm assuming per season also, like, the gaps change. Yeah, it's different. Also, yeah, there's hidden doors in the trees there, and I'm pretty sure that door is correct. Hmm. The one that's hidden? We're back to the well, start. It loops. can't get back to it now. Yep. You went too far, and now you're back at the very beginning. And so yeah, this is really annoying garbage. I don't think that Corndan's gonna die to this boss twice. I don't think so. Yeah, okay. Corndan is second place. Which seals our winners for this. Unfortunately, Slowbeef and Yuge are eliminated. They're still working on Mickey Mouse Capade. I want to interrupt our good time. 
Oh, how can they not when they're playing Mickey Mouse Capades? Hello, Allison, with a perfect nine points. Maybe the second or third person to do that so far, I think. Jeez. Someone else has also had nine points. I can't remember who, though. Corn Dan with six. Got a perfect second place the whole time. And now it's contend. Uh, these two are doing a tiebreaker. Slow Beef and Yushbos have one point each. So who will be third in this, ultimately, is being determined. All right, so basically, uh, just the one who uh, gets the fourth is knocked out of the race? Just the first two are going forward, so third and fourth are both eliminated. But for Ooh. posterity, who will be third? I mean, we do have to find out who is the better gamer. This is the fall map. It's full of these awful bears that throw boulders. It sucks. Oh, I forgot that Rich is Hill Mickey. He's so greedy. Picks up a diamond and he's got his full vitality stuck back up. Well, you know, that's how he's been able to survive all those decades, just that Disney money. If you got to the winner map here, what would you do? How would you advance, knowing that any of these doors could send you back to the very beginning? Which door would you go for? Would it be the secret door three times in a row? Or this time? Hmm. Is there a door at all? I'd go for the secret door, but also I have so much time to waste in my life. Well, I don't remember. I think I'd go for the secret door too. Allison's gone for our loop. But here's this first door. Is it right? The ultimate in hoist. It is. You gotta loop around the whole stage and then shoot the hidden door right at the beginning. Which is oh, like man. 10 feet behind where you're allowed to go at the start. So actually, <laughs> the first secret door is wrong. The second secret door is right. <laughs> How devilish. Slowbeef has exited to the sea. He's on stage two. Good contender for third place right now. He was just having trouble with brooms. That's, uh, that's a bit ill foreboding because I feel those brooms are not as problematic and having to deal with everything in the ocean. You can destroy the waves by shooting them. Mickey loves to destroy everything. Wait, you can? Oh, that's cool. The fairy at least will do it. Allison's gone to the pirate ship. <laughs> Don't envy. Uh, that. This, this game has a bunch of stages I would rather forget. <laughs> now we have bobbing stage mechanics and a bunch of ladders. The boss is so outrageous. This is where I start using many to cheat, and I, I think if you don't do that, you're gonna have a bad time. This is Pirates of the Caribbean starting Mickey Mouse killing everyone. So, how many stages are there on Mickey Mouse Capades? Not too many. I know it ends with a castle, but I don't know how far away from the ship that is. I feel like it's not that far. Here's this ridiculous boss, this Toho boss. <laughs> Oh yeah, this bus fucking sucks. Here's the strategy with Minnie. He's doing it. Or, yeah. He's shooting his knives, but he can't hit Hello Allison's Minnie. He's doing nothing. Done. Oh, I guess it is the last level now. Okay, very short game. You might beat this whole thing before uh, the race is up. <laughs> the castle's real bad, too, though. I remember a bunch of nonsense here. Oh, God, already looking at it is giving me a goddamn headache. It's a very pastel castle.
Some of you getting hit by every wave and taken out. Game it over. really seems like you barely have any time to react to that whatsoever. You have to jump straight up over the wave, but under the jellyfish. You can't jump over the wave. Yeah, and like, your jump does not seem precise in this game. It seems like there's a lot of wind-up to it. You have to worry about many, too. Uh, she can't fall in the ocean. Mm hmm Is that the only time she is not absolutely invincible? I mean, the owl kidnaps her, that's really... That's the worst thing in the game, the owl kidnapping her, like, really sets the tone for this bad game. It almost could be a good game if they would just stop. But just stop it. But it's only got five stages, and we need to make kids play this for about four hours or more. It's got five stages, and the best of them is probably the ocean. <laughs> I don't know who this walrus guy is on Allison's screen, but you do have to get rid of him. At least a couple times. Hmm. My extended European Donald Duck knowledge does not, like, give me a tinker as to who that is. It's probably some of Scrooge's rich kid rivals. They could have just made this a co-op game or something great, right? Maybe it is, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can control many, like you can control tails. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel you would ever be able to sell like another person on trying Mickey Mouse Capades. <laughs> this game, uh, it feels actually, it's not too bad to control. That's why it feels like it's all stage design issues across the board. Just awful, awful stage design. <laughs> Slow beef is died to the witch. <laughs> oh, he's at least got four more lives left. Did he get the key? I guess you don't need to beat her if you get the key. Yeah, I think the key actually is like saved, which is a bit weird, a bit of an odd choice, but hey, I'll take it. If you want to kill a broom, don't attack the bristles. That's what's made to take damage all the time. You gotta attack the handle. That's the weak point. That's the brain of the broom. Attack the top of the stick. Oh, it's gonna be a race for stage two again. Both players here with a couple of lives each. I don't think this will ever end, Smite. <laughs> I think we'll be stuck staring at the fun house for hours. Since there are hidden things all over the place, you wanna keep shooting in this game, and uh, that's. I don't know if Hell Allison knew about it. There's a mini death, by the way. Uh, but they found a fairy that made them immortal for the hardest part of this. Helped a lot. Yeah, but it didn't exactly seem like it's an easy to memorize spot where the fairy actually is. It's just in a cloud, and if you hit a hidden thing, it, it shines, so you know to shoot it some more. Like, Slowbeef just passed up something, and I think he knows to try and hit that. Yeah, there's a gem. Oh boy, a full heal for Rich Mickey. Better hope Minnie doesn't foam the ocean. Yeah. He's got to the boss. They both did. Oh, it's gonna be real close. Oh my Except god. One of the players Snack is hurt. On back. Oh, jeez. Oh, Slowbeef touched the gator. What the? <laughs> Bye. Mouse can't beat gator. I don't know what, what he was thinking. That was that was the craziest idea. 
Uh, of course, it shouldn't instantly kill you, you know, that's game design, but... You gotta expect contact damage. Hmm... I don't know, gators are very dangerous. Have you ever tried touching one? I haven't had the privilege. I'm sure you'll die as well on the spot. Slobius diamond that he healed with is missing now. <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> I guess if it saves, like, the key that you picked up, it will also save what health, uh, like, you got. There's this boss again, he's back. On, uh, Allison's screen. Peg like Pete. He just won't quit. Slowbeef has found the fairy. That's gonna be huge for Slowbeef's success mission here. Better hope, he doesn't, better hope he doesn't die in the boss stand if, like, that theory about items not responding between death is true. Yep, this is probably his last try. <laughs> he actually made it to the first uh, attempt here with a lot of health because he found that diamond. How do you dodge these bubbles? Yeah, this, this seems impossible. Just gotta beat that gator before he gets you. Oh no! Minnie's still alive. No, she killed herself. Damn. <laughs> Slow beef, last hey, try. That's how it goes. I've been informed by Ribbon that Allison did not actually beat Micro Machines. They're probably gonna have to take 20 on that. Oof. They went forward after dying, assuming that they went onto the next level, but you gotta actually beat it. It would have sent them back. Yeah, they were on the uh, restarting stage 4 Micro Machines when they moved forward. They ranked out. Slow Beef is done, 34 10. That might be enough of a time loss to shake up. Um, that 9-0 might just be turning into an 8-1. Hmm. I'll be right back. Okay. This must be the invulnerability song. Hi! What's going on, Slow Beef? I want to thank you for picking Animaniacs, a game with, like, two auto-scroller sections. It's fine. Yeah, that's great. No, it's really good. Very good, thank you. Did you make it to um, the boss? No, I'm just joking. No, I didn't make it. Everyone else made it, but no one figured out how to deal with him and his nonsense. I know. Um, what do you call it? I, uh, I actually uh, can't stay too long because I have uh, another thing to do. But, um, you know, thanks thanks for letting me be part of this race and embarrass myself constantly. Um, you know, just, just you know, that kind of thing. Thanks for nothing. Like, I'm just joking. <laughs> I, had, I, had a lot, I had a lot of fun. But I got to tell you, um, I feel bad because this last race, I actually, the last, like, round C, I played all three. No, I've, I played two of those games. Not three. I didn't play Dragon Ball. I noticed too that you I could have recruited preset characters after the fact. I thought I was being all cool by getting like three big fighters because I figured, well, all right, I'll just yeah. You could randomize the stat assessment too, and I don't know. You took the time so, to individually. I'll tell you. No, here's my thinking was I didn't know if you had to buy equipment and equip it and everything. So I was thinking it'd be faster just load up everybody on strength, and no matter what my first random encounter was, I could just like pound on whoever I kind of got in. But um. You know. So I guess I know I see appeared the fool, but there was a method to my madness. Um, how's the rest of the race going? Well, Allison was first, but she didn't finish Micro Machines. We all thought they did, but 
They gotta restart that or take 20 on it. I think I'm just gonna give them 20. Mm -hmm. Uh, you still working on what? Mickey Mouse Capade? No, I'm not. I'm done. You is not you. Oh, you, you gotcha. Uh, you scared me. How was Arthur? <laughs> the soft lock on Arthur was great. Well, that, like, what the, what the hell? <laughs> no, it's fine. I mean, I didn't. I don't think I lost that much time. Too. I mean, I, I did actually, but I, it looked like I was behind by such a margin that I don't know if it really mattered or not. If you figured out basketball right away, like the other two did, I think you might have won that race. Yeah. So you well, just tap the button real quick. I I got candy canes at least, even though you know. So. Yeah, but um, what do you call it? Well, uh, I have to run record my other podcast so um thanks for having me in this race i hope i hope i get to stay in it but you I, don't i'm I, sorry <laughs> but if you fail, i don't yeah you only huh? have two points uh, that's not enough but, two people move on oh even with hello allison's 20 on this i still lose i'm still terrible i'm sorry hello allison did too well they were actually guaranteed to move on because they got first place twice oh well that's a shame this this tournament stinks. <laughs> um, well, if you feel like commentating on any of it, let me know. Yeah, sure. I'll be I'd be happy to do that. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. See you. See you. So generally, you just uh, purpose up the race to uh, even watch like the one and last like finish. I don't interrupt them usually if they want to finish. All right. See if they can beat this gator. They have one try left. Seems like a real toughie, honestly. They have, um, not very much time left. They do have a 20 minute limit on each one of these. So they're getting close to hitting that. This is really is their last attempt. Trying to figure out what Hello Austin's time actually is. Let me do some math here. And I then mean, we'll figure out what 20 minutes, is. right? 20 minutes on the first game instead of 6 11. Hmm. So I have to add some time. Thirty-three twenty is their time. Just barely second place. So they still go through at least. Yeah. Slowbeef almost had second. It was close. Yeah, close, but no cigar. Allison knew Mascapade too well. Could not be beaten. Uh, we were thinking about doing a third race tonight, but I think I'm done with that, actually. But I am going to do an FTL run, probably, here in a minute. We'll have a new race tomorrow before AI Arena. Dude, I need to find slot mod. Do you know anything about FDL, future friend? Uh, I've played a bunch. Not a fan, honestly. I see. I'm looking for the slug hero, and it sucks. Can't find him. Like, is it just RNG, or do you have to do, like, special conditions? It's RNG, and there are special conditions that I know and I can take advantage of, but even with that, I can't seem to find him. He's the, he's only in the Sluglands, which already 
That's not great. <laughs> That's not a place you really want to go. Uh, not usually. Were those like added in like uh, the big patch a couple of years ago? Wouldn't surprise me. I'm not sure. They probably were. The things that make Slugland bad are definitely added by that patch hacking and stuff. They always do that. We're playing the Slug C, so that's the perfect ship to find them with, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I played this before. Maximus Sluggo. What do we call this ship? I need to do a shootout for these uh, Slug players. If you want to be on this ship, I'll give it a go. Put me in, coach. Okay. I played this ship not too long ago, and um, I lost. <laughs> well, that's kind of the thing about FTL. Like, sometimes, even if you do everything right, you just get shitty RNG. Yeah. I know enough about this game to control most of it, and I just can't... Keep... It's a lot of micro and perfection required to, to do some of the bad situations it gives you. You can get out of them if you squeeze it just right, and doing that is really hard. Slocknog Finder takes off. So we have a chain laser hacking mind control. It's a good ship. I lost... Because I probably messed up, honestly, <laughs> with hacking. Hacking is so busted that you can, you can really control the game with that. We can't set sensors for Slocknog because we don't have sensors. On this dumb thing, because we're slugs. But that's alright, because we have mind control, and slugs can see into the ship to see the life, so we can just mind control them. Are slugs fighters? That doesn't sound right. That sounds false. Well, I got bombed. Oh my god, that's real bad. Oh, they take forever to fix this. Those bombs were only capable of hurting me in this very specific way, but they did it. They managed to do it. They needed to blow up my shields. And they did it when my guy was out of town. Could, could not fix it very quickly. There we go. I should have shot their guns instead of shields. Oh well. That's the kind of mistake I was talking about. That kind of decision. You could lose the game making a decision like that at the wrong time. You are playing on normal instead of hard, right? Nah, I play on hard. To oh, maximize geez. how mean it is to me. We played into the breach. Um, no, but I was interested in it, but, like, there was a deluge. You know, it's 2019, so there's always a deluge of indie games that I'm very interested in. Yeah. I understand that. I got a million to play. I did an LP into the breach. I loved it. Yeah, I was meaning to check that out, but then I just lost track of time, and that's just how I don't watch most LPs. Really need to shut that drone off here. Very important. Okay. Got lucky and hit one of those two shots. I want to call it luck because it was close to missing despite all that effort. The effort of turning off their shields and firing two shots. Oh man.
So the chain laser, people seem to like it. I don't. It just speeds up a little bit every time you fire and caps after three, two. I mean, the problem with it is the cap that it stops at isn't really even that fast. So it just starts out slow and gets to average. Not a very impressive weapon. It also seems like it just misses a whole lot more. Although that might just be you playing on hard. That's just this drone having ridiculous dodge. I don't have any control over accuracy at all. Oh, great. Well, Into the Breach is a very strategy sort of game. It's very different from this. It's yeah, very much like, just a turn-based strategy. What I've also seen of Into the Breach, it seems a whole lot more like forgiving by design in this game. It's easier. Uh, it's still got some hard stuff in it. If you play on hard and use the bad squad, you can get into a place where you're in trouble, but generally speaking, you'd be all right. I'm gonna can turn their guns off here. not like rewind when you're playing on hard? You can rewind one turn out of the... Most battles take four turns. You can rewind one of them uh, mm. every time you do a fight. But on hard, they just have more enemies stuff like that and some crew some mechs just aren't very good at some things so it can be pretty rough sometimes but as a whole it's way more fair and that makes it easier I should have shot the NG with mind control instead of mantis but I can bust their shields this will work Oh, that's the other thing that sucks about the chain laser. If it takes damage, it resets. The, the, so it goes back to being the slowest thing on Earth. Oh, no. It's got so many problems. I mean, there's a gun in game that shoots three times for about as much speed. None of those problems. So, you know, it's just straight worse than that one. No matter how you slice it, it's just worse. Do you, like, have to use it to unlock the slug man? No, it's just my starting weapon. Ah. Well, I don't like what I'm fighting here. God, they have a lot of guns. Yep. The guns aren't really balanced per se, like there's not There's never a time where you take the chain laser over burst laser two ever. They're really meant more to be like that's a burst laser two. Oh boy, I found that. It's supposed to be the good thing in the store. But they're not equal at all. So this ship starting with the chain laser just makes it worse than the one that does have the burst laser two right away. There's a fire over there. If only mind control were up, I could use it to really mess them up. Dark Twins made a balance patch for this, and I'm sure it's good because he knows what's going on with this game. I can't even see if I can get Slocknog or not yet. I have to get to the end of the sector to find out if I can even do it. If there's even a chance. I was going to say it should be pretty rough for them to actually do damage to me here, but they already did. I'm still going to try and kill the crew. I think I can do it. I wouldn't mind disabling their guns a little bit, but... There we go.
Hell yeah, this will work. We're gonna get this crew killed. Yeah, definitely one of the problems with the game as a whole is that you have to buy the chain laser when you see it because it's the only weapon you might ever find. There's not any assurance of any kind that there will be more weapons on the road and if there are stores they might not carry weapons at all because of complete randomness there. So you're stuck with this pretty lousy gun a lot. Even if you don't start with it, you might end up buying it. And it's such a waste of money to buy something like that. It's such a lame gun. It's such an underperformer. This ship starts with hacking, so it really doesn't need very much help. It's such a good thing to have. What does hacking actually do in combat? It depends on what room you pick, and that's why it's so good. You can do anything. Like, what's the problem with any ship? And you can just turn off that problem every time. The best thing it does is completely remove shields. Like, just completely remove all shields from any ship, even the boss. Even the final fight, you can just completely disable all of their shields. Meaning that any guns you have can get through. It solves the problem of weapons completely by itself. As a start, that's the first thing it does. But you can also use it on their weapons to turn them off for a long time. You can use it on their uh, piloting, like I am right now, to just get rid of dodge completely. Just turn off evasion for a while, no matter what. You can use it on the med bay to turn it into a poisonous bay that kills anyone who goes in it. Oh man, that does sound pretty cool. Well, that's good when you're trying to kill the crew and they have a med bay, so. You know, if you mess up the crew and they run in there, they're all dead. And they will run in there. They'll actually break in. They'll actually do their best to get in there. <laughs> they hacked my weapon, so it's really slow. But I'm killing these guys because I hacked their piloting so they can't get away. Because they're trying to run. Hacking does everything. It's amazing. It's easily the best thing in the game. Just because it always is helpful. As long as you have a drone part to use for it. And you should. Those aren't hard to find. I'm trying to think of what else it does. It does something in nearly every room. If you hack mind control, it randomly mind controls one of them with their own mind control. Oh, this sucks. This is actually... Yeah, great. this this seems like a bad place. Um, I have mind control. I don't know why I'm fighting them fair like this. Let them fight each other. <laughs> there we go. This is better now. You can hack hacking. Uh, what that does is it breaks the hack. That's pretty stupid. Uh, that's a pretty bad use of it, obviously, because then you don't get to hack anything. You just keep on turning theirs off. It's pretty lame. Uh, if their hack on you is really bad, I guess you could do that, but man, it would be shitty. If you hack the teleporter, it pulls all the guys who teleported back into their ship, just pulls them back. Automatically. Oh, we only have two slock knock purple dots here. You can hack oxygen to disable. It starts draining air out. Yeah, it does that. So that's another way to kill the crew. Just keep draining the air out of the ship. <laughs> so that's fun stuff. I assume that goes very slow, though. You can level hacking up to three, and it's not very expensive. And if it's level three, it actually only takes two hacks. So, probably 20, 30 seconds of completely drain the ship of air. Uh, it will fill back up, though, if you don't break the oxygen afterwards. So, you'll have to do it again. But they'll start taking damage. And you can hack the doors if you want to, to turn them into your doors. And they're very hard to bust through. Hmm. I don't know if I should buy anything or not. I guess I should get doors. Oh, I have doors. No, okay. Uh, I guess I shouldn't then. Let's get hacking. I'm talking it up. Let's get it. Mind control is way more what you would expect. Uh, it's way more what hacking probably should be instead of what hacking is, which is outrageous. Hacking is way too good. But I can't really complain about something being too good in this game where everything's hard to do. 
So, on the other hand, does it seem... Like, do you actually have a med bay on this ship? I have a clone bay on this ship. So I oh. heal a little bit every jump, and if anyone dies, they get resurrected if I... As long as it's working, as long as it's functional. I like clone bay better. I never thought about that, but that's true. Enemy ships don't have a door that goes outside, so you can't hack them and uh, drain their air that way. I never thought about that, but that is true, and that's a good reason why <laughs> they don't have that door. They totally don't, though. None of them do. I never thought about it. That's true. So, also, the side effect of hacking is if it didn't do enough, is any room that you've hacked has these doors that they have to bust through. So now this NG can't get in there and fix the guns that I shot because he has to break through the door first. So that actually buys me enough time to mind control that jerk again. Oh, I let my guy die. So I guess we'll see the clone bay in action now. Cloning a dude, they lose a little bit of skill, so it's not great, but... Can they, like, regain that skill, or...? Yeah, they can. They just aren't as smart as their original was. They just have, like, faded memories of their old life. So they, they're, like, 10% worse at everything to start. They can learn it back quick. Hmm. It's one of the penalties for cloning them. There really aren't that many penalties for cloning them, so I definitely like it better. This ship sucks. I don't want to fight this. What do I do here? I think I'm going to hack their weapons. the situation. There we go. I just need to keep that offline or else. Hey, I might kill the crew actually. Neat. Killing the crew is worth money. Oh, so the hack has locked him in there with the fire and he started burning to death because he can't get out. So that's fun. That's a nice side effect, too. So it means unless they can get, like, a bunch of oxygen in that room, they're not going to be able to, like, repair, like, their weapons? Yeah. Since they have O2 level 2, that fire will never go out. I forgot to name my crew. Jojen and Bellmaker are winning. I gotta name them. Can't do it here, though. Gotta jump. Fix our hacking. We need this. This is my ticket to late game in case I don't find any more guns. And that would suck real bad because we'd have the stinky little double shot laser. But when you think about it, it's actually like I have another weapon that always hits and gets rid of the shields. So it's not terrible, but man, it feels bad. I would really want more weapons than that. You died, future I'm friend. Sure. But that's okay. I'm sure you'll find a shop soon. Um, oh, well, I'm dead. Oh, well. You're back. I do gotta say, though, uh, I think I actually gotta go. Okay. But it was nice to talk to you again, man. Thanks for joining me See for these races. Time. Have a good one. See ya. Invaders on my ship.
I gotta worry about fuel right now, too. There is a good... I this is a bad one, even with Columbia. There is a good event with the spiders. It's a blue option. I think it gives you medium scrap if you succeed on the regular option, which is real mean, real stupid. One of the worst designed events. It doesn't give you enough of a payout at all. I'm gonna kill the crew here. If I can. I do have to worry about that gun hitting me though. Preferably can disable one of those. There's a fire over there and uh, the mantis has to do it by himself. I think they're all really low health now. <laughs> That's just walking in and dying to this dude. Cool, we got some fuel. I need the store too. There's still a fire on that ship. I could have waited, but whatever. Um, I don't want the stun bombs, and I don't really want the slug repair gel. That's 30 scrap that I demand. Okay, let's move on. Don't want to do that. That's a fake nebula. There ain't no slock nog there. Our fuel count sucks. I gotta fix that. Oh man, that's a gross thing. I don't like that gun. I'd like to break that gun. Oh man, they got autopilot and I missed. Shit. God, no. What a bunch of malarkey. All around, just nonsense. Nonsense city. Good, there's a fire. That'll help a lot. I really want to mind control that rock. I can't believe he fixed the guns while there's a fire. How did that even... How? How does that even happen? I find that hard to believe. I gotta be honest, that seems a little unlikely. Oh, this jerk. This border just barely got it. Talk about annoying bombs. There we go. That's a very valuable find. I didn't find any fuel though, so I'm gonna need to get to that store soon. They really should let you mind control specific targets and control the dude after you do it. This is part of why mind control is so weak. It doesn't let you do anything special. Yeah, it's a very nice weapon to find. I won't use it on this ship. Generally speaking, I don't use this kind of gun on this ship with four weapon slots. 
It is worth a lot of money, though. I really want to get to that store. Ugh. Gross. They're leaving. That's what's gross. But also, their missile launcher isn't fun either. Oh my god. Please stop missing when I need it to hit the most. I hate it. I hate it when it's inaccurate like that. Shit. This is real nasty. They're going to get away and I'm screwed because of it. I can't leave. Uh, this, this is just the game being completely non-fair here. I'm letting them target my hacking like that. Come on. And then me missing too. Absolutely brutal. The fire in the doors room and everything. Not sure what to do here. We gotta try and stop him from running. Mind control is my ticket to that. Unfortunately, mind control and all of its badness has chosen the wrong target to mind control, so we can't force anything to happen here. Oh, man. We really shouldn't be taking this much damage from this thing, but here we are. Uh, it's going to escape after delivering 20 missiles of damage. Ah, it might kill me, actually. Man. I think it did. I think I'm wiped out. God damn, dude. They don't need these missiles. They just don't. There's so many. I hate them. There's absolutely no way that there's only six on, the, on any of these ships. I don't believe that. Somebody said there was, but you're just... You're wrong. <laughs> it's ten. And this is what I mean when I say ten is just too many. They beat hacking and mind control and all of that stuff. And that's just nonsense, man. They really shouldn't have been able to. But because they did get away with uh, not getting their weapons shut off for a second there, I used to eat every single missile. I just can't get away. Ugh. That sucks. Well, that was a bad Slocknog chance anyway. There was only one warp left for him. I wonder what I could have done better about that situation. I don't feel like I did the wrong thing trying to fight any of those. But that ship, man, I think I was screwed from the beginning with that nonsense. He just showed up with missiles, and if you have to eat that many missiles, you're just finished. Yeah, I guess I had the option to let them run. Oh man. The correct move is to retreat from a missile. Just It's just a regular, weak-ass level 1 missile. The kind that could have shown up at any point in the game. And um, because they had two shields and that missile, even though I had hacking and mind control, it just didn't work. Uh, so I guess I should have just ran. But that really doesn't feel right. I feel like the RNG just didn't work out. I should have fought that battle, and I should have been able to beat it without more than one or two missiles of damage, but... They shot my hacking, and they lit a fire. They shot my door room, and they lit a fire. The fire tore me to pieces. I took away my ability to stop them again. Oh, real bad. Uh, let's do another one. I'm tired of playing the crystals. I'm, I'm not going to play the crystal ships. I guess I haven't done crystal A in a while, but man. Let's, let's random again. This <laughs> slug B. This one looks disgusting. Slocknog. Nog. 
Slocknog 99. This ship needs some explanation. I don't know if I should be explaining these ships because apparently I'm not good at this game anymore, but uh, nah, this is fine. So this ship has boarding, two board, missiles, not enough missiles to win with though. You have to board them and use heal bombs to defeat them because two slugs actually isn't good enough without fighting skill to beat anything. That's all we have. We just have this. We just have regular ass missiles, healing bombs, and we don't have enough bombs to win with Artemis missiles. So we have to go board. And that's fine, except for how bad they are at it. They're, they're just regular boarders for the most part. So the worst thing about this easily is that the healing bomb can miss. And if it misses, we're in trouble. Also, we don't have a Fucking med bay. I forgot about that. Uh, they took away the med bay. This is the only ship, I think, that doesn't have a clone bay or a med bay. We have to use healing bombs, even when we're done fighting, to heal our guys. We have to waste a missile. Which is real dumb. Just like this ship is a real dumb thing to have to fight with it. Because you can't go board it. We'll die. Can't do anything. All we can do here is eat burst laser 2 mixed with heavy laser and hacking which immediately broke my shield so we're dead already actually we're finished this is one of these runs where even twins would be dead i think yeah okay we're finished we're fucking dead there's no way out of this <laughs> we need to i guess we need to fix shields first with high priority here they breached me twice in two shots just outrageous out absolutely nonsense I need to fix O2 as well. Let's just start with that. I'm just not sure. The nice thing about this ship is that it automatically fixed breaches. Which apparently happen on every goddamn shot. But at least we automatically fix them. Hey, that's the first time we got shot out of five that didn't cause a breach. So what the hell is this ship doing at the start of the game is the question, right? Why does it exist? This is like a tier 4 ship. This shouldn't be in the game for three sectors. Why does it have hacking is really the upsetting thing. It's bad enough without it, but why does it have it? So we're going to eat another shot because it does, but it has four freaking projectiles. This thing is crazy. This thing is outrageous. I guess I should jump. I'd rather restart though. It's not worth it. That shouldn't exist. Like that straight up existing is just an insanely bad design move. They really shouldn't have put that thing there. It shouldn't be allowed. They should measure the weapons that the enemy has in sector one recognize that you have one shield and you're fighting four projectiles and already that should be scrapped that's too many uh, that's just crazy but to give it hacking too nightmare absolutely nightmarish it's completely outrageously this is why people complain about FTL that jump right there is not good nothing about that was reasonable I need to break the shields with my Artemis beam to destroy this ship. We have the asteroids to help us, which is good. Except for they're gonna fuck us up too. Which isn't good, but we might actually kill this ship without too much of a burden because of the asteroids. So, you know, comparing those two ships. This one has a one-shot laser and a fire drone. And that's it. That's all it's got. It doesn't have anything else. Am I on fire? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Because the fire drone is doing work on me, but that's okay.
Um, boarding the station is a 50-50. Yeah, okay. It's that mean. That's what I mean by 50-50. Since I'm at the start, I figured I'd go for it. Did anyone answer the, uh... Okay, we do have, uh... Names. Sophie, Bellmaker, and Wangfu, you're technically on this ship. But I think I'm actually gonna call it, because here comes another missile barrage. I put my faith in this missile. If it misses, we're dead. <laughs> okay. It was a good missile. It was fine. It was fair. It did good work. Let's go board them, actually, right away. So the thing about this is I need to drop this bomb before we start taking a lot of damage. Because if it does miss, we're screwed. We'll have to do some running around and try and get another shot off. And if that one misses too, we just teleport him back and try all over again. Which isn't great. Oh, it does a lot of healing. I think it fully heals them. So at least that, right? Okay, got a new crew member. That actually makes up for it a little bit. I wish I didn't throw a crew member away for no reason. I shouldn't have done that. I should know better than that. Well, I'll just name these three after the three who are on the ship. There's not actually a space in Slocknock here. Sophie Kaiba. Hellmaker. We'll just ignore the one that I threw away. <laughs> that dead slug. Uh, I think if heal bombs did not use a bomb, they'd be alright. It'd be an okay thing to bring, I guess. Here we have a situation where they have a freaking mantis over there. And I need to deal with their medbay before I can go board. Ultimately, we will fight them in the medbay. Because we missed, we have to uh, rotate on the mantis here. No, not even that will be enough. We have to just leave. We got to do something else entirely here. Oh my god. Died. Absolutely the worst. I knew this would happen. <laughs> I knew we'd be counting on those to hit and they'd both miss. So I think I'm going to call it because it's just... I think this is one of the worst ships to play. It's just miserable. I should have pulled them back as soon as it missed the first time. But god, then we have to wait even bad, even more. This is just bad design in the ship. Not good. The gimmick is insane. The gimmick is absolutely, did they really do this kind of ship? And they did, they really did this. They took away the med bay, the cameras, the weapons. They took all of those things away. They gave you level two doors though. Oh, the gimmick is just so bad. The heal bombs need to be better than they are. Just This should really highlight to them, right? Like this should be, screaming at the developers after they made this gimmick. Hey, this weapon you made, it's goddamn worthless. Fix your heal bombs. Please balance them a little bit. They have no value at all. But no, they made this ship and they rolled it and they played it and they said, yes, these are good. Everything about this is fine. This is Slug B and this weapon is solid. <laughs> they rolled with both of them. I, they, the heal bombs really shouldn't miss, but if they must, do they have to be missiles? God. So, you know, what we're really looking at with this ship is... 
it's a boarding ship, but we really need to switch the weapons as soon as we can. Yeah, absolutely. If the heal bomb was good, this ship would um, be the highlight to show it off. That would be a way better thing. Unfortunately, it's just... No. <laughs> it's just not... I'm gonna host somebody playing some weird-looking game. See how it goes. See you later, everybody.